What's good, y'all? You already know what time it is. It's the messenger of God here. Man, there's so many small things that we could appreciate. And you know, when I was out here, I'm just looking at how peaceful things look from right here, you know. It just seems as if, you know, as if everything is, is okay, you know, as if it's fine. Look at the sky, the clouds. You know, why we don't take these moments to just enjoy the things that God created? You feel me? It's like, we want to wait until we're not able to do these things. But actually, it's already too late. It's already too late. I'm going to see if I can get down here. Hold on. My big old self. I just want to get close to the water. Yo. It's so beautiful, y'all. I know it seems mighty strange, but let me tell y'all something. Guess what? Y'all, I have never been fishing. I think everybody in my family has been fishing but me. No one has ever took me fishing. I'm so upset about that. So y'all need to get on y'all jobs. You know, those who already know who they are that should have took me fishing. But I did do, I did do some, some um, fishing with like the, uh, you know how you take the little string like back in the day when you used to catch like the baby crabs. Um, and the little, well, we used to use like the, you know, the gallon uh, waters, uh, jugs, and we used to cut it off. And then we used to use them and then we used to use a string, we'd put some little meat on it or a little bait. And we used to drop it down in a little rock like right here. Drop it down in the rocks and then we used to pick up the little crabs and, and put them in there. And then see how many that we can catch and then we let them go. Oh, you guys wanna see a sailboat? Look, these people was, was um, waving. You know, I don't know who they are. But it's just people being friendly, you know, trying to enjoy life how, how it is like right now, right? If I had a word today, I would just think of, you know, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, you know, and the reason why I'm thinking that is because you know, for all the things that we go through, you know, that we don't take advantage of. And we just all just chip off of everything, you know, instead of just being thankful for, just being able to just enjoy the moment. Let me get big, oh my goodness, let me show y'all these, uh, these little sailboats right here. It's awesome, huh? Isn't that pretty, you guys? It's so beautiful. See the water? Anyways, I just have wanted to get a little bit closer over here so y'all can see, you know, the water and a little sailboat. Go to walk with me, you know, for a few seconds, a couple minutes, you know. It don't take that long to just, you know, go for a walk. You know, my goal was my goal is like when people ask me, you know, they 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 always ask me. They like, what is your what is your purpose like? What are you trying to do? You know, and my thing is, what I want to do is, I want to inspire. I want to inspire you guys, the youth, the next generation, the the youth. You know, the ones that's coming up. I'm not trying to. And, well, I don't want to say that, Lord, because I want to be able to inspire anyone, you know, especially those who don't believe. You know, a lot of people don't want to talk to people who don't have, you know, hope or who have low self-esteem, who have, um, like, they just, they're lost. But our goal is to reach the ones that are lost, to reach the ones who, who you know, can be reached. And you know, if I can inspire at least one person to believe, that's what my goal is, you know? I'm not gonna say that I can't preach or I can't teach or I can't do anything, but all I know what I wanna do is I wanna be able to reach those who can't be rich. You know, remember the lost sheep. 
the ones who can't be rich. Remember that. We have children nowadays that's growing up without parents, without guidance, without a, a sense of direction, and, a, and to go like, you know, without a sense of direction to be positive anymore. So why can't we be positive to our children out here? You know, why, why can't we do that? Why can't we see the things that are going on right now in the world and we just overlook everything, even the small things, you know? God said, even my very own elect, you feel me? And that's a sad thing because you, you wouldn't think that people will be so, people will be so naive to the fact of, of what's going on in the world today. But I'm telling you, it's the small things that count. The small things. So when I see things like this, you know, and the things that the Lord created, you know, y'all, I just don't understand why we just can't enjoy these moments. I, I, I miss all of this. I miss, I, miss, I miss all of this right here. You know, just, just walking and talking and, you know, being thankful, except, you know, right now, everyone right now, look at those clouds, man. Everyone right now is really low key, you know, especially the ones that, you know, believe because, you know, it's kind of tough out here sometimes when you're trying to walk that, that narrow path, you know, you, you're not really out here just trying to let's say because i'm not going to say not trying to change a person's life but what i mean is like change people's sense of direction you know change people way of, of, of thinking you know we we all have a choice right we all have a choice it's not like i'm it's not like i have like <laughs> a gun to somebody's hand and say, you know what? You need to believe in God. You know, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know, the word speaks for itself. You know, if, if you just read the Bible and read the word for yourself, you will see how everything lines up with what it's saying. You will see how the way that life plays out, just like the way the, the Bible says, you know? But... It's something because I didn't know these things at first. You feel me? I thought that I was doing right whenever I got up and I woke up in the morning and say, thank God. And, you know, did my little prayer. I did not know that there was, I didn't know there was so much more to life with God. You feel me? Here I am just thinking that I could just live my life and do what I'm supposed to do go to work, you know, and, and that's it. But but that's not what it's all about, you know. It, you got to you got to do more than that. You know? You got to do more than that, y'all. You feel me? I just wanted to take y'all on a walk with me, you know. At first, you know, I went through so many things and And all I needed all this time was God, you know? It was something because I had got reminded, look. See that? <laughs> Every time I start walking, I, it seems like, like I'll find a feather or something, you know? I know there's a lot of birds, but anyways, back to what I was saying. I didn't know. Okay, I started off because God read me through my poetry because I started off with spoken word, right? And then once I start changing my life, like I realized the things that I was doing that was wrong. You feel me? I didn't know that I was so lost. And then when I found God again, because I'm, I'm going to say I found God already. I had God with me. I had God when I was growing up, but just imagine not knowing that you didn't have God the way you're supposed to have God. You feel me? And like I said, when I was doing my spoken word, I know y'all know what this is. 
But I'm gonna uh, stand by this tree because it's so big, yo. I look so small compared to this big tree. That's how big my God is. He's he's bigger than us. You know, that's why we can call on him whenever we go through things. You feel me? Zacchaeus was a wee little man. Was a wee little man, was he? He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed his way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for the Lord he wanted to see. Ain't God good, y'all. So like I was saying, with my spoken word, I was in that place, y'all, and I'm telling you. And I was just like, ain't my life means more than this. I got so many gifts, so many talents, and why have no doors open? And I did not realize that until I got the understanding. Because in all you're getting, you must get an understanding. See, God didn't want me to open those doors that I was trying to open because he has something greater for me to do. See, I had all these gifts. And everything that I decided to do or even put my mind to, or maybe somebody told me that I couldn't do it, I realized that I could if I just put forth the effort. It's the same way that I feel about God. If you just put forth the effort, if you just try, you know. But then as I was seeking, when he gave me the, when he gave me the words, he gave me way back then in 2012, just say I was looking at it with like blind eyes. But now that I got God the way I'm supposed to have him, I can see everything that he gave to me before time, before it even happened. And it's trippy, y'all. Because you just don't know, right? You just don't know. And now that I'm where I'm at in life, y'all, guess what? Everything means something to me. Every little word. I started off with spoken word and now, guess what? I start noticing that I was going to the Bible a lot more. And then when I did, I start understanding the word. I couldn't believe it. I just kept on seeking. I just kept on trying. I just kept trying to do whatever it was that I was supposed to do. And you know what? Man, God makes a way out of no way. He works in mysterious ways. But you know what? I love y'all. I don't want to take all your time, but I just want you to know that God loves you no matter who you are. You know, God loves you no matter what you've been through just as long as you stop doing what you're doing and give it to God you can't keep continuing doing wrong and then think like you know what well, God is going to forgive me all the time which he is a forgiving God but what he wants you to do is he wants you to to realize what you're doing wrong and have some structure in your life you know realize that you're dead on the inside and if you're dead on the inside you sure is dead on the outside you know you can't sit up here and expect whatever seed that you have to grow if you do not put the word in you you know and if you don't understand it you know ask somebody who does you feel me man i love y'all y'all just don't understand man my life was not easy for me you know i try not to so much play the victim but i have to tell my story in order for you to have like some type of uh strength like I, I try to tell you my testimony to let you know that you can do it too you know you can go through those things that i went through and still make it out and still make it good you know make good in your life you feel me and every time i tell you guys about my lifestyle i told you how the way i was living i wasn't living right and the only way that i could do it i keep telling y'all is i keep seeking the lord it's it, it's a struggle every day it's a struggle every day what i go through y'all but let me tell you, in order to do it, you like I said, you have to feed your body with good fruit. You have to pray. And then what happens is the goodness of the Lord will come inside of you. You feel me? He will distract you. He will take over whatever it is that you're going through because your mind won't even be on what's going on. You feel me? Your mind won't even be over here thinking about like, Oh, what's happening in the world and, 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 and I'm scared of this and I'm scared of that. You're going to be thinking about, hey, look, I need to get myself together because if I don't, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen if, if, if you don't, guess what's going to happen if you don't get yourself together? 
if you don't get yourself together, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be too late. And y'all just keep on thinking somebody's trying to force religion on y'all. But like I said, it's a choice. It's a cho it's a choice to do it's a choice to do right. You feel me? You 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 make your own you make your own choice on what you want to do. You feel me? Don't sit up there and act like you know, don't sit up there and act like somebody needs to force you into doing right. You do it cuz you want to do it. You do it cuz you want to change. You do it because you want God to bless you. You feel me? How you always want God to help you and bless you and, and you supposed to get a good job and have money and um, live a good life. And then if you do have money, how do you expect to keep it if you don't have God in you? Because if you don't, you're going to end up doing wrong. And no matter how much money you got, you ain't going to never be satisfied. Remember that. You ain't going to never be satisfied, y'all. No matter what you're doing, look at this light. Look at this light. I'm gonna try to get it. Look, 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 right behind me. See how bright it is? Look straight over my head. Y'all see it? I know I don't even wanna see that. Wow. Okay, I just wanted y'all to see that real quick. I mean, it was really bright, right? But anyways, I'm not going to make a mountain out of a mole here, you feel me? I'm just telling you all what time it is. And I want y'all to be able to live your lives, do what you do, live your lives, do what you're supposed to do. And, and God will bless you abundantly, you know? And then when you do get blessed, when you do get blessed, look, you will know exactly what to do with your money. You feel me? You won't be sitting up here going and uh, wondering like, you know, what am I going to do? What, what am I going to do in my life? You feel me? You're not going to act like that. You feel me? You're going to know what to do in your life. But you got to make sure, like, when I got God, all I wanted to do and all I felt like doing was sharing it with somebody. That's all I felt like. All I felt like doing was sharing the word of God with somebody because it blessed me. It touched my life. You feel me? Oh, look at the little baby. You see how they're just rolling together, just chilling, minding their business. That's how we should be in life, side by side, sticking together in the word with the Lord. And knowing that there's only one God, we should be just like that. We should be just like that in the Lord. But we are so divided because of our beliefs. It's only one God, one faith, and one baptism. So why do we all have different, you know, ways of, of, of believing? You know, we can all have opinions. It's okay. That's what that's what we all are here for. We're supposed to be able to talk to each other like sisters and brothers and be able to come together on one accord. You know, everybody may not be taught the same. Everybody may not know the, the, the same things in life, but still arguing about it. Why don't we sit down and talk about it? You feel me? And come together on it because it's, it's you still only serve one God. Still the same God, the only God that we're waiting for to come and get us, y'all. I love y'all. Once again, this is the messenger of God here. Y'all take care. I right? love y'all. Later.